What's up YouTube, Godfrey's Productions, back up in here with another video and um, today we got something that a lot of you guys have been looking forward to. Um, I put up a picture on my Twitter of my pickups from New York, like I told you guys in my for sale video, it's down now, but it was just quick stuff I had for sale and I told you guys I would be in New York and I'll pick up some stuff. I have that with me for you guys today, so I'll get into that, but before I get into that, I just want to get this out of the way first. A guy in my area in Montreal, if you guys didn't know that's where I'm from, yeah, um, he has these shirts that he dropped and they're pretty dope. The company is called Joir, J-O-I-R, and uh, they're pretty nice. I like the shirts and for a Montreal brand and they're up and coming and they're like, they don't even have a big backing and they're doing like really good things. Like they already went out, they already had Luca and some of the model their clothes already. So that shows you how much of the, they're, they're really serious about their craft and how to get their brand out there. And um, I just really support them because they support me also. And uh, one of the dudes that is affiliated with this brand went to my high school. So he's pretty dope. He rocks his shirt like all the time, every time I see him. Uh, shout out to Casey. So yeah, it's pretty dope. I like it. Black and white, you can never really go wrong. And the back has this like really funky, like looks almost like a bunch of signatures all together. Pretty sick though, I like it. Cotton's really nice. But um, now time to get into these pickups. This is the second store I went to. I went to the other one first, but we'll get into that after. But um, I went into Bape. You guys wanna see that? So, um, I'll just break it down what happened. I went, I was shopping on Black Friday. I never got to shop on Black Friday in New York, like in Soho. And I never seen a line at Bape in my life. And I was waiting in line at Bape and then I get in and there's no sales. But I wasn't really expecting, like I wasn't going to Bape expecting sales. I was expecting to get this because I've been eyeballing it on the website. But um, just the fact that I had no sales and there was a line, it made no sense to me, but it's whatever. So uh, here on the bag, we have Amazing Nape as normal, but it's like the Peanuts exclusive bag, but I didn't get anything from the Peanuts collaboration or whatever, so it's whatever. But uh, in here, we just have my receipt. Yeah, put that to the side of the bag. And then we have the item that I got. I'll do close-up shots for you guys, don't worry. I know I'm pretty far back, but gonna have to cope with me. We have a typical bathing egg bag as usual. Crack it open. And this is something I've been looking at for a bit. Since I'm in Canada, I gotta keep my head warm for the winter. So um, we have this bathing egg beanie. Really nice. It's all black and it got the little ape face on it. Very simple. Some people might say it's not worth it because I'm paying all this money for just a little monkey face. But the quality is really nice and I needed a new one because the last one I had before this was this Obey one and it's like fuzzy all over the place. And hopefully I'll think this one will last way longer. And it's really nice. I like it. I like the material on it. It's not like any other knit I've felt from before. Um, so yeah, I'll try it out for you guys. I have, it still has the tag in it, so it might fit a little weird, but this is me just like looking in the camera, but whatever. I like it. It's sick for the winter. So next stuff we got out here from is Supreme. Y'all know every time I go to New York, I have to stop by Supreme. I just love the in-store. Employees may not be so great, but this time they're actually really nice. I don't know if it was because of that big ass line outside because I never had to deal with a line in uh, at Soho, the, like the Soho store is Supreme, because every time I just walk in there, there's no issue, but today, I mean that day that I went, it was Black Friday, I wasn't expecting a line at all. I got outside, it was like a big line, like super long, and I had to wait like 25 minutes to get to the store, but it wasn't that bad, because everything in the store was 20% off, so it was kind of worth it in the end, so yeah. So we got my receipt, final sale because of the um, sale items. So yeah, 
Um, my grand total was like 160. Um, first item, something small. I'm just gonna show you guys. Supreme, Supreme belt buckle. I was looking at this on the online store too, but shipping to Canada is $25, so I'm not gonna pay 44 plus a $25 shipping on a belt buckle. So I was happy that I could get it in store and also for the Lord, Lord. <laughs> because it was 20% off. So I was happy with that. Um, I'll just add this on to some like belts that you could just snap off and then put a belt, um, a belt buckle on because I don't really mess with too many designer belts except for like Hermes and stuff, but I can't afford that now. So I'd rather just rock with this and then it's pretty nice. I like it too. It has a nice weight to it also. So um, the main thing, I got a Supreme. Oh wait, actually, I got all this stuff too. Got like, got blessed it with like four box logos. Pretty nice. Nice dude. Like I said, their uh, customer service in there this time was way better than any other time before for me. Um, like he actually came out like what one of the dudes like he's like oh dude like he asked me if I needed any help like four times so I appreciated that and he actually did help me out so it's better than them being angry at you all the time that's for sure so here we have the burning crosses hoodie it's from Supreme they closed it up for me and all that yeah so the burning crosses pullover in a size large. I tried on the large. It fits nice in the sleeves, but um, I don't know, the length is just kind of like a little too snug on me or a little too short, but I went with it anyway because they didn't have XL anymore. And I, I kind of came at like midday, so probably a lot of the items that I wanted went, like they're already out of stock. So yeah, and uh, yeah, so I got this. Navy hoodie, navy burning crosses, really sick. And what I like about this is that it's kind of like an image that people are gonna be like, oh, burning crosses, what are you doing? But not everyone can really make it out. So like, if you know Supreme, you're gonna be like, oh, that's burning crosses, or you're just not gonna really notice that at all. So that's what I like about this. It's really like, it's really abstract in a way to me because of how like blurred out the images. And then also on the back, has that supreme lettering really nice and this is my first supreme hoodie hopefully i get lucky on these box logos after four years of trying i'm really hoping i get through on that because that's it's just annoying at this point like every year i strike out and i don't want to pay 400 dollars on a hoodie like come on now <laughs> it's just like it's just insanity so i hope i get lucky at this time write down in the comments below if you're trying to cop those box logos on thursday i hope everyone is lucky well at least this is the time when i'm filming it it's before the drop so uh, i don't know when i'm gonna upload this but hopefully all y'all are lucky that want to get them this originally retailed for 138 and like i said my bill was 160 so this was a really good deal this whole these two items and then i also got a hat for my friend but that's not in the pickles video because i already gave it to him but um i'll try this on for you guys and i'll get back on to you One last thing for you guys. This is something that I'm really happy I got, especially because I got it for a crazy price. If I told you guys what I got it for, you wouldn't really believe me. So I'm just gonna keep it that I got it way, way, way below retail. So I'm happy with that. But I do have the receipt and everything. So you guys know I'm legit and all that. So me, I was in New York when these dropped. You guys probably already know where these are, these are. but um, yeah, so I was in New York when these dropped, and I have my aunts and a, like a couple friends out there that like really are about sneakers, like all they do is every Saturday if a drop comes out, they come out with a whole bunch of people and they scoop up mad pairs because that's what they love. So I headed out with them for the first time because I wanted to experience American Camp Out. I didn't know that after they go to one spot, they go to like multiple other spots. So we were flying all around, all around the city, trying to get as many pairs as we could of these so they could hook up all the rest of the peoples. Because everyone in New York, they're not going to be up that early for these sneaker drops. I was in the Bronx, 
I went to Brooklyn, I went to Manhattan, all to try and get these shoes. And the first stop that I was at, I was in Brooklyn and I ended up getting these. These are a 10 and a half, I'm normally an 11. And I know, and uh, they fit actually pretty fine because I already wore them already. And normally you guys see the shoe before I wear them. Um, but this, I couldn't really wait, man. Like, I really love these. Really, really love these shoes. Oh, I already cut the little scalp today. Whatever, it's all good. I meant to. I want to beat these a little bit because the bottoms are blue. I want to try and get them yellow. That's how much I want to wear these shoes. I just wanted them for so long, and I'm happy that they retro them. Um, the infrared sixes. I haven't even mentioned the name yet the whole time, but the infrared sixes is what I got. Um, I'll get both pairs up for you. So I got them ten and a half, but um, normally eleven. But they're they fit fine. They fit pretty nice. Um, I would say for you guys that are trying to pay resale, don't, because <laughs> in my eyes these are worth what I paid. And that was way below retail, and I'm just gonna beat these because that's how I see them as. Because I didn't pay that price, you know? But if it was anything else, because like I know a lot of other people are trying to get the Columbias and all that, I don't want the Columbias. Um, I probably know a couple people in New York that want the Columbia, so I'll probably get them out here and then ship them over to New York so that someone can be happy out there, because I have family out there. So um, yeah, these are the last pickup that I got. And y'all already know those shoes. I don't really have to do a big review. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I know it was a, not too many pickups, but it was kind of lengthy. But you know me, I always talk. I talk, talk, talk. But um, I really liked every piece that I got. All of them I'm going to be wearing consistently. Navy hoodies, wear all the time. Belt buckle I could wear for like the rest of my life. Um, infrared sixes, I'm going to beat to hell until the soles fall off so um yeah i'm just gonna get out of here make sure you guys check out all my social media links will be in the description make sure you guys comment rate and subscribe um hit that like button it really helps me out it helps the channel grow and um i'll catch you guys on the next one peace i'll switch production